Hello, people, and welcome back to some more Metroid Prime with Robert Link. Yeah, I'm playing. So, I think we are now moving on to Fendrana Drifts. With the elevator. Going up. That does look like it's going uncomfortably fast. <laughs> just as soon as it stops, just launches Samus. Like, ah. So you went straight from the volcanic area to the cold place. If I weren't in a powered suit, I probably wouldn't be feeling too good. The Varia suit. Yes. I mean, in general. Because of the massive temperature dis distance difference. Well, yeah, it would be hurting you if it wasn't for the uh, Varia suit, probably. That too. I mean, like... You know, people who climb out Everest because it's so cold up there and stuff have to take like days to travel up there just so their bodies can, you know, acclimate. Here, we go from volcanic to ice and just, uh, well, less however long the elevator takes. Probably less than a minute. Yeah. Save station detected. Oh, goody. It's like, hey, don't miss this. Mm. It's like, imagine if we actually... Well, hold on. This platform is kept aloft by a gas-based propulsion system attached to its underside. I was just thinking, imagine if we actually had a considerable fan base, they'd never let us live that down. Missing the, missing the save point and then having to go all the way back because we died in the poison. Yeah. Okay, well, let you let me scan you. <laughs> Rock. <laughs> Morphology Flickerbat. Scavenger with optical camouflaging that renders it invisible to the naked eye. Flickerbats are, decep are deceptive creatures. The only way to track them reliably is with x-ray imaging. They fly ceaselessly, hunting insects and other small prey that float on the air currents. Flickerbats tend to fly in psych cyclical hunting patterns using primitive sonar to navigate hmm. I look a walk it's like a walking uh, iceberg yeah morphology crystallite territorial cold weather scavenger the shell of the crystallite reflects beam weapons and can only be cracked by a concussive blast they hang upside down in an ice cave during their larval stage Moisture runs off its body, which forms a hard ice shell, which the crystal light retains for the rest of its life. So how is the... Like, does the suit just research it right then and there? Or is it, like, down... Like, taking it from pre-known Chozo knowledge? Who knows? I don't even know where I'm going. So what is this? Blast shield over door is secure. Shield controls are elsewhere in the Fendrana shorelines area. Ah, uh, so I can't open this. So, uh, like I was saying, don't forget that save station. Right, that is down and left. I can read these. Hmm. New, new personnel must report to the South Research Facility. Failure to report will be penalized by a 30% reduction, ration cut, and extra duty. Western Temple is in Phase 2 lockdown. All projects are postponed. Under no circumstances are personnel to attempt access. All ballistic support personnel report to Research Lab Hydra. Lockdown Containment Plan 3A in effect until further notice. You know, it's funny how they're called Space Pirates. But they're actually really fairly well organized, like, militaristically. 
the end. It's like, it's not like space pirates are just a group. It's like the entire species is known as space pirates. Is that just some sort of like mistranslation or? I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, I, I'd have to look it, into it more, say for certain, but. I can't get that without a double jump. Hmm. Uh, so... Where do I go? Is there a, a scan somewhere in this room that will unlock that door? Actually, yeah, this is the shorelines. Which it mentioned. Uh, Grading has become brittle from temperature fluctuations. Large traces of radion detected. I think that's... Is that super missile? Or... That's what I was thinking. Nope. Oh, or normal missile. Yeah, I guess uh, previously it was Cordite that was super missile. Hmm. The door directly above has been unlocked. Uh, whoop. Camera messed me up. Really? There we go. Let me up. Fine. We can't wait to get double jump. Yeah. Uh, where am I going? This way. Or not. Come on. There we go. Platforming. Were you stuck for a sec? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you've scanned those guys, have you? I thought I did. You scanned the uh, Pulse Bamu, I don't think it's the same. Oh, you're right. Morphology Scatter Bamu. Pulsing tendrils of energy extend from the creature's body. Like all Bamus, these creatures can only be harmed by electrical energy. Proximity to these life forms may result in electrical visor interference. It is possible to avoid engaging Scatter Bamus by rolling into the Morph Ball and slipping between the rotating energy streams. Like I just did. Yes. Or just go through it. <laughs> uh -huh. Got bad reception. <laughs> I have a bad res I have bad reception to my face. <laughs> oh, these guys. Ah, uh, yes. Morphology Baby Shegoth, Glacial Predator. Ice shell protects vulnerable dorsal area. Young Shegoths grow a resilient shell of ice on their backs, which serves to protect a layer of vulnerable flesh. With this being their only weak point, baby Shegoths will turn quickly in order to not allow predators the opportunity to strike at their backs. Powerful hunters, they fire bursts of ultra-cold gas at potential prey, then feast on their frozen victim. These are babies, by the way. I'll just do charge shots. I, I seem to recall them being a little tougher than that. I mean, last time you played was on a harder difficulty? I don't know. I might also be thinking of their counterparts in the other games. Yeah, like... They're similar enemies that... Yeah, like I know we're talking about in Metroid Prime 2. Yeah, they but... function the same exact way, but they're a lot harder to kill. Yeah. I forget what they're called, but... Yeah... They also had, uh, I don't know, they, did it start with a G or J? I want to say something like Guardian, but I know that's not what it is. But you're, prob you're probably right. Whatever, it was, like, you start seeing them in Turbo Spog, I think? Yes. Yeah. All right. Use a lot of these guys. I think those ones had a tail that you shot off. Yeah, that's right. Or I think you could even rip it off with the grapple beam. I don't know. Or maybe that, 
Or maybe that was just the dark ones. Hmm. This makes no sense. If you haven't, if you don't see Metroid Prime 2. We'll get to it eventually. Morphology Ice Burrower. Burrowed, burrower adapted to sub freezing climates. A hardy life form, the Ice Burrower has adapted to the frigid climate or frigid climb of Pendrena. It spends most of its time tunneling through the frozen soil, but will occasionally service to attack passerby. Forget about them. Back in here. Or out here. Walk right into the bomb. That was my brother. Too bad. You may now join him. Alright. Um. So I'm hoping we'll get an upgrade in this episode because we didn't in the last one. Yeah. I think it might be a new weapon. I think so too. Where are we even going? I think right. it's the only way we can yeah. go. We're definitely going forward. Yep. So I wouldn't worry about it. No. I missed those, the uh, depth. There we go. Actually, this one might not be a weapon. At least not yet. Yes, I must kill all of nature's creatures. Oh. <laughs> and then read about how it's a bad thing to do. <laughs> but do it anyway. <laughs> Chozo script translated. Many Chozo have gone beyond now, and this is a mercy. Those of us who remain suffer in dimensional flux, drifting hope helplessly across time and space, guided by unseen and inexorable currents. The Chozo who are the Chozo who cling to sanity fight the tide, but our minds are weakening. Soon we will all be like the turned, Chozo who have been utterly corrupted by the great poison. The turned still hold to their Chozo forms, but their minds are black with fell intentions, gone in their respect for life. Gone is their respect for life. They honor only destruction and seek to disrupt the artifacts, holding the great poison at bay. All life taunts them, and they do not rest. Before long, they will be all that remain of the Chozo here. Mm. So that doesn't sound too good. Platform realignment successful. Oh. I think I know what this is. This should be boost ball. Oh, I was thinking, is it screwball? No, it's too early for that. Boost ball acquired. Boost ball. 
So now I'm pretty sure I know exactly where we need to go. Do you? Uh, back to the place before Magmore Caverns? I think we need to go back to the overworld. And do you know why? Why? To get to the space jump boots. Oh, what? really? Because I'm pretty sure there's a half pipe that leads to it. In that case, let's go back. Yep, out of my way. Places to be. Screw you. Incoming scan data, it's probably gonna tell us. <laughs> Searching for other half pipe configurations. Half pipe structure detected. Is it in the town overworld? Yes, it is. I knew it. And it's right next to our ship. I was right. Yep. All right, so we'll probably be right back. Yeah. Wait, something happening? Hmm, I wonder who that could be. It's a dragon. All right, carrying on. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Really? Threw off my A. Ah! Dude, you threw off my groove. I'm sorry, you threw it. You threw off the Emperor's groove. Sorry. This is not, however, amazing. Oh. oh, can you kill them with the boost? I don't think so. Nope. Aw. Really? <laughs> Going for the long haul. <laughs> Wait, is this where I need to be? No. Ah! If we die on the way back and you didn't save... Uh... Don't worry, I'm going to the save station as soon as I can. Alright, you know what, guys? <laughs> this is actually going to take longer than I expected just to backtrack, so uh, we'll end the episode here. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. Okay, bye. Oh gosh, it's gonna be a while.